That's correct. Yeah. What about? Yes, yes, that's correct. Yeah. There's new look. That's all. That's all. That's new look. New me. New era. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. EIF the keenest. What about? Now FC20. Hopefully. With you guys. Fantastic facility. Loving the look of it. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. When do I want to start? You give me a choice? Well, how about end of the season? Just give me a chance to say goodbye to the lads. Every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would park. That's right, folks, back once again with another Football Manager 2020 episode with FC20. That's right. So it is over. The old mystery, the job hunt has been complete. Uh, and I struck a deal with the new with the new place. Um, we'll take over at the end of the season because we're doing so well. And I think we've actually got a shot here to do a double-double. That's right, a double-double. Um... So what, you know, what better way to bow out than uh, becoming a, a hero? And of course, changing career paths from that of Steve McLaren. We're not going to go Wolfsburg. We're going to League Oh, boys and girls. That's the path I wanted. I turned down the likes of Napoli. I turned down the likes of Sevilla. Turned down the likes of, who else was it? Uh, Real Sociedad and Hoffenheim to join Marseille, boys. That's right. The former Champions League winners. Let's take a look at it. So, uh, if you head into the old uh, transfers here, uh, I mean, take a look at the transfer history, uh, and you go into future transfers, you see they'll stumped up £2.9 million to take me. That is this guy off to Marseille. It's a done and dusted deal. I'm taking a couple of the old backroom staff with me as well. Um, here's a quick scan of uh, Olympic Marseille. They're actually night for the moment. They've actually picked up a little bit uh, since confirmation of me coming in. Boom. Uh, they may they may still end up uh, finishing quite high, but it doesn't matter. I'm the new gaffer. I'm in charge, sort of. So I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. We could possibly, hopefully, hope that'd be awesome if they could finish above Olympia. So we'll be keeping a, a, a little eye on that. So hopefully they can push up the table and maybe get themselves uh, up, up and at them. Uh, what I'm going to do... Of course, uh, when I get there, it's clean house a little bit. Rob Holding, his contract is uh, expiring. Uh, I'm going to let that pan out. I'm also hopefully going to let this guy go as well, Nabil Fekker. I know he's a big deal. 88 grand, though. Uh, I'll let them slip through the doors. Um, Bardelli, youngster, maybe he'll stick around. Florian Tarvin. I, the problem is I don't have any say in these, I don't think. So I can't keep them, keep them here. But I want a lot of the old Deadwood out. The Loney's out. Uh, even Ruben Loftus Cheek is probably going to be on his way out. Also, this fella. What's that all about? He is the most expensive player, though. So uh, we, we'll probably have to keep an eye on him. Maybe we will keep him. He's on 165k. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and cut cut the cut the cord strings a little bit. Weston McKinney, I thought he was part of the package, but it doesn't really matter because I've got my own plans up my sleeve. Whenever we get there, the only problem is since I've agreed to do this and since I've agreed to uh, stick around at FC20, I've got no control in what goes on here. I've got no control of saying yes or no to transfers. That is out of my hands. And the vultures, they are still sniffing. Yes, they are. Uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, Bonsu could be on his way out. His contract comes to an ex expiration. I would go in for that. I would go in for that myself. He might not necessarily have a future here at FC20 with the, the way things are going here. But at Marseille, he could be just the ticket. Uh, where is he? Triple L as well. Final rent for him. Um, but we've so far managed to sidestep that one as well. And also, uh, matey boy, let's, let's clean this up a bit. I can't really see. Uh, Christopher Diabolt. The Vultures are sniffing for that as well. It's a big time player that I want to see back into France. Um, so we're just going to have to wait and see. So yeah, we're going to enjoy this uh, the next uh, spell. Um, today is a bit of a double bubble. Taking on um, Feyenoord and PSV in the Eredivisie. Uh, Division. We come into the action. Uh, three points clear of AZ Alkmaar for the time being. Helen Veen and the team to watch, though. 
they sit in third. Uh, but a win for us against both of these boys would probably eliminate them from any top top two top two contention uh, and actually break us away. And, and that's the plan here, folks. The plan is to, to to run away with it and be top bananas. Reyes is not scoring goals. That's the issue. It's just it happened like to Kuka as well when he came in here as goal scorer. Uh, second season was shit. Posma. Tottenham were sniffing around. A lot of the big boys are, are sniffing around for him. Doesn't belong to us. Not really bothered. But I am excited. I am looking forward to, to Marseille. It was, when you think about it, the, the logical step. Um, and I, I talk about this all the time. Uh, you know, I was offered jobs in the in the in La Liga, in Serie A, in the Bundesliga. But I just wanted to make the next step up, which is France. It's only a little bit. Uh, 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 a little bit further up up the chain, but it feels good, you know, because I, I feel like we can, not necessarily first season or maybe even the second season, but within two or three two or three seasons, I think we could we could oust the likes of PSG at the top. They've got they're breaking away. Uh, what is it? A good twenty two points clear of us at the moment, and of course they've still got the the, the big boy Mbappe Martinez. But I'm, I'm sure um, I can I can turn things around with Marseille uh, in a couple of seasons. So looking forward to that. But anyway, let's get into the big one. Uh, up against final now again just like the other big boys the form is is turning around we've won three of the past uh, 15 encounters drawn two they've won 10 I'm not going to break that record today and we have to leave it to the new gaffer um, so let's get into the action so we're going to start with these bad boys schlingel up between sticks galvez keomini diebolt and rhodes brouillard and bonsu in the middle Sotado on the left fought on the right silver down the middle and Lloyd gets a shot up top we need goals today we need goals uh, I'm finding it difficult to keep a lot of people happy. I'm hoping they don't carry grudges because I do want to take some of these guys with me. Um, but that's got something to happen. I, I can't, we won't do nothing until May. And even when I, I, I said it through the interview, I thought, let's go the end of the season. And as soon as I picked, picked it, um, I thought, yeah, maybe I should have went. Oh, yeah, and I have had a, had a bit of a haircut. I am recording this well in advance. It's like mid-May. Um, I'm, I'm recording a bunch of videos in advance because we've got a lot of uh, stuff up ahead. So, um, yeah. Gone extreme. Oh, yeah. New look, new era. All righty, boys and girls. Up against uh, Brozniec and Co. Who else they got in here? Sherpa in between sticks. Arxan on the right. He's a handful. And Gingy still there. And away we go, boys. And away we go. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a frustrating time trying to find the old, the perfect job. I really wanted, I'm not going to lie, I really wanted uh, Olympic Lyon. That was the one I wanted. But Mar when Marseille, uh, they were like my second second fiddle. Um, I wanted a big club in France. Of course, PSG, wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted that. I want a challenge, of course. Uh, right now, the likes of Lille are dominating. Uh, I expect Lyon to challenge as well. Maybe we can see uh, who else is dominating. But so far, yeah. It's clear, it's well within the, the the scope that we can challenge for for French honours. I'm pretty sure of it. We've just got to make the right the right purchases. Get a little bit lucky, of course, and then uh, make sure we uh, bring Triple L with us to provide the assists. So Teldo, it's loose, picked up by Rhodes. And I believe I have made the signings to secure FC 20's position at the table at, uh, at, the, at, the, at the top of the Dutch League. And I'm not saying they're going to win titles when I've gone, but they'll be in the top two, top three. They'll be there or thereabouts, and they'll have money. They'll have plenty of money. We've, we've made them a hefty chunk of change. And again, if we can win the title or finish in the top two, they'll be back in the Champions League next season. That's the, the plan. And uh, maybe we'll, our paths will cross one day. Um, but yeah, one down, one Debbie Downer about it all is a lot of the boys, a lot of the backroom staff didn't want to join me. I, I am taking a few of the guys with me, but my assistant manager said no. So I might go and see who was uh, my assistant back at Torobo and EIF Aquinas and maybe try and get a bit of a dream team together. Second half, uh, so far so good. Of course, uh, the Waldy Lloyd on the score sheet. He scores whenever we, whenever I called upon. And uh, he's called upon today in the big games. And I probably will play him in the next one against PSV, um, who have also sacked their coach quite recently. Um, pull it back. Fort, loose ball. He'll pick it up. Back to Rhodes. Bonsu. 
Back to Brew Yaya. Over the top. Lovely. Fort. Can he get a cross in? He does. Beautiful head out. Tom Lloyd gets his sixth of the season. Now, um, of course, I've been I've been glued to the screen for the old job market. Uh, and the AZ Alkmaar coach was also linked with other high-profile jobs as well. So I think he's on the cusp of leaving um, pretty soon as well. That's a loose ball. Picked up by Galvez over the top. Flipping Lloyd. Let's go for a hat-trick. It's a cheat mode. Cheat mode Lloyd. Oh, what a hat trick. He's come in there. He's done a fantastic job. Maybe we can get him out in France next season to, to bring him up, up to par. But he's an absolute belting player. Whenever, whenever you know, last season he, he came in and he did bits. And he's done absolute the same again. Truly, truly a world football superstar in the making. Galvez back to Brew Yaya. Can he get across? It would be four for Lloyd Silva. Over the top. It's messy. It's dealt with. And here come final with Flap. Over the top for uh, Azkatan. Prisoner of Azkatan. Here he is. On a plate. Joao Guilamile. Makes it 3 1. That's not what we wanted. I'm going to demand more. So the situation, uh, six points clear at the moment of AZ Altmar. Um, improving our goal difference a little bit. Still not as good as AZ, Al AZ Altmar's as well. I'm already thinking about players to bring in, not necessarily just from our boys, but uh, some of them was up on my short list that um, I've been interested to bring in, but just never found the right time or moment or what have you. But anyway, this one was a piece of cake in the end. 3-1, quite comfortable. Bring on the PSV Meisters. Bring them on. And he said, oh, I'll lose on the day. Goodness me. Uh, banana, big, big time banana skin. Uh, not avoided there for, uh, for AZ Alkmaar. And that's given us the driving seat in this. Now, if they do win their game in hand, they'll still be three points that drift of us. Only one defeat so far this season. It's been phenomenal. Phenomenal run of form. The boys look good, composed, and ready for it. This one's going to be tricky, though. PSV away. Um, yeah, and we've got Chelsea in the Champions League. Tom Boy can't play. Uh, the transfer window does shut in one week, but I can't do anything. I just can I just can watch and wait and see all the players leave. That's all I can do. I can't can't stop them. Can't do nothing. So I want this to pass without much drama. Okay, folks. Next up for us, it is PSV. Now uh, the transfer situation is out of our hands. PSV been active. Yes, they have, and they brought in an ex fella of ours. Yeah. Have any guesses? Yep. Where is he? Where is he? The little shitbag is gone. It's the dude. That's right. They bought him. They bought him from Schalke. Uh, bit of a bargain. 4.6 million pound pickup. He only played three games out in Germany. He's now back in the Eude de Vizier. Um, played one game so far from the bench. Hasn't really developed since he's arrived. So, oh, since he left. Sorry. So uh, we, we will uh, we will see him. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is going to be tough. It's an away days. PSV will be a sticky wicket. Um, let's have a look at their uh, home form then, shall we? Let's have a look at the home record PSV. Yet to lose at home. So, yeah, problems. So it's pretty much as you were for the last game. Uh, Schlengel up two sticks. In fact, Schlengel up two sticks. Galvez, Jalmini, Dybolt, Rhodes, Emmerich on the left. Bruyaya on the right. Sotaldo, Silva, Fort with Lloyd up top. Of course, he's got a hat trick. You can't complain, lads. You can't complain. Santos, you can go in there for Nicolas. Let's get it on, lads. Okay, so what have they got in the locker? They got the dude. He starts today, pulling the strings. Silver. Sure, that's done. Yep. There we go, boys. Can we have a look at what's going on in the French league? Is Rhodes to Silver. Loose ball. Four picks it up. Tries to get a cry kick shot effort. Bruyaya -ya picks it up. Diebolt lays it off to that wonder kid that is Rhodes on the right hand side. Can he get across him? He does! It's a purling cross, but it's dealt with by PSV, and now they can attack themselves. Gundonson coming down there. Good Monson, even on the left. Oh, he's got a pocket picked. Bruyaya -ya be very, very stubborn in uh, midfield. Lays it off to Fort. Goes on a run. Sets up. Soteldo! Sixth of the season. I was wondering where he was going with that because I didn't think Fort would shoot with his left. But uh, yeah, laid it on a plate as Jefferson Sotoldo makes it 1-0. Let's go, what's going on in uh, League oh, Look at Mbappe with a brace. Take him down, lovely tackle. Rhodes keeps it going. I'm telling you, it, it sucks to leave some of these players. Sotoldo on the left. Maisie run sets up Lloyd over the top. 
Yeah. Fort's going to be a good player. Silver could be very savvy. Emmerich, we may not have seen the end of him. So he may uh, go and be going to um, join us. Here come uh, PSV over the top. It's lovely. It's lovely, but it's a great save by uh, Schlengelava. It looks like it was uh, something was wrong with that. Not given as a goal kit, a, a, a corner. So far, so good. Chance here. Galvez to Silva. Gets past him. Pulls it back to Teldo. Straight in the arms of the keeper, Atiabu. And it looks like the highlight will continue. Which way is it going to go? It's a drop kick down the centre. It's picked up by Good Johnson. Uh, we try to get it back, but Brunin gets away. He has a shot. It's not a bad one, but it's pretty weak in the end. 35, 36 minutes on the clock. PSG 4-0 up. That's what we've got to look forward to next season. Uh, a league of dominance. We'll give them a couple of seasons. But so far, we're dominating this. Second half Sundays. Yeah. So the plan moving forward, of course, we're, we're going we're to come come back, um, you know, for a couple more couple more times till the season pans out. Mainly looking at the Champions League, we'll be following that, and of course the big games, of course. So I think the next time you'll see me will be one of the Chelsea games. Um, do I think we have a chance? I think we could go a little bit further than we did last season. Of course, last season we tumbled out to Barcelona. I think if we can get past Chelsea, then we may have an outside bet at uh, doing a little bit better than what has been expected of us. Um, but this game is over. Just the one goal. Not changing it up. Keeping it simple. Getting over the line. Ooh, lastminute.com highlight. Going in favour, hopefully, in us. Rhodes picks it up. Loses it. No, no. Get rid of it. So oh, it's wide. Should be a lot. Should be a lot. So that should be another three points. And maybe, just maybe, extending our lead at the top of the table. Silver. There it is. Celebration. Fist pump extraordinaire. Thank you, Sotaldo, for the goal. So there you go, folks. After match number 22, we currently have... What is it? A nine-point lead over AZ Amma. They do have a game in hand. Ajax also still have those two. As they have three games in hand, and they could possibly get up to, what, 52 points? Something like that. But that's the situation here in the Eredivisie. de Division. Meanwhile, Olympic Marseille are still in ninth spot. What have they... What's gone on with them recently? Uh, they took on Strasbourg, and they drew. They took on the VAFC, and they won 2-0. They got Martin, the bitter opposition next. Hopefully, they can turn them over. And maybe, just maybe, they'll do okay in the Euro Cup. We'll keep an eye on that anyway when that comes around. So next up for us, we'll be back for... We'll sidestep all of this. We'll come back for Chelsea. Maybe Vietnamese Arnhem Chelsea. So one, two, three games off camera. We'll be back for this. Looking forward to it. Until then, boys... I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.